We're here at Aeromotive's R&D department and we're talking about brushless pumps. This three and a half gallon per minute pump right here is capable of supporting more than 1200 horsepower depending on what type of fuel you're using and what your induction system is. The five gallon per minute pump is good for 1800 horsepower boosted while on E85 and 3600 horsepower carbureted naturally aspirated. But the reality is brushless pumps and spur gear style pumps are the wave of the future especially for big horsepower say boosted LS applications or boosted Coyote applications or heck boosted anything applications. These are direct drop-ins for cars like Copos, Cobra Jets and drag packs so you can really support some big power with them. These things are great because of the fact their internal controller will allow them to have a much lower current draw than other style pumps. It will also allow them to feed the engine. When the pressure rises, the actual volume delivery of these pumps will not fall off like other style pumps. Why? Because these have their own brain. They will compensate for the increased pressure to make sure that the fuel delivery volume does not fall off. You're looking at the heart of an Aeromotive gear style brushless pump. Right here, the precision machine gears and the pumping mechanism. This is what's gonna deliver up to 3,600 horsepower naturally aspirated for whatever your racing needs or high performance needs are. These pumps are available in multiple configurations. The in-tank module is a direct replacement for any Aeromotive fuel cell style pump. The complete fuel cells are available in six, 15, and 20 gallon options. And there's also external and inline mounting options that will allow you to put the pump wherever you need it. Never a company willing to stand still, Aeromotive has incorporated brushless technology through their lineup from the A1000 to the Eliminator, the three and a half and five gallon per minute options. Brushless technology is here and it's here to stay. So I'm here with Matt and he's gonna take us through a test of one of these awesome spur gear brushless pumps. All right, well we got three and a half gallon a minute gear pump here. We're gonna start it out at free flow uh, with no pressure applied to it. And then we're gonna slowly bring in the pressure, probably take it up to 60 PSI and then we're going to run it clear up to probably 90 to 100 psi nice as an intermittent um you know pressure operation that your car might actually see so here we go So we look at the flow, we look at the amperage, and there's not another style of pump on the market that's gonna do what this thing's doing right now. Right, so right now, we're only at 12 volts, we're at 60 PSI. Our flow rate here, flow rate, we're just over a three gallon a minute. So let's crank this thing on down to 90 PSI and see what happens. Man, you can hear the thing working. You can see the intra is still just over 12 volts, and you can see that the flow numbers haven't moved at all. Wow. Our flow numbers have maybe changed by 0 0.05 gallons a minute. Crazy. At an extra 30 PSI, so we're running 90 <laughs> PSI. Man, that's great. For this. You can hear the pump change pitch as the pressure is applied and released. Wow. So we're back to 60 PSI, and we can actually increase the voltage. So yeah, you bring the voltage up now, 13 and a half volts. 13 and a half, you can hear the pump increase. In the... And again, that all goes back to the internal controller that's managing the pressure and the volume of what the pump's actually outputting. Exactly. So 13 and a half volts again, we come back up to around 90 PSI. There we're flowing about 3.4 yeah, yeah. gallons a minute. Yeah, that's fantastic. At 90 PSI, 13 and a half volts. 13 and a half volts, it is rock steady. Wow. Shut it down. So there you have it. Proof is not just in the pudding, the proof is in the test bench right there. Tested and flowed at pressure. That's what you need to know.